Alright, is, is it gonna trigger? There we go. That is quite unfortunate. Bethany, you need to get the fuck out, if you please. Okay. I'm just- sorry, I'm looking at my minimap to see where enemies are spawning. I've got one coming up back here, just one, but I know there's more coming. Ogre's right here. Bethany needs to get the fuck out. So, I'm gonna run Bethany towards Wesley. I, uh, when, when I have escorts like this, I tend to sort of use their presence because um, you can't clip through them, you know? They do, they do have collision active, so if you put someone like Bethany behind him, then it's harder for enemies to attack Bethany. But anyway. Uh, Alright. Aveline is too far away for her to get here and taunt. Um, I don't want to risk Bethany getting taken out because she's, she's my mage damager, you know? And I've only got three companions, so I can't afford to let any of them go down. So I'm gonna have Hawk throw down Miasmic Flask. Hopefully this will stun him. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna sh put it a little bit off-center because it's most likely he's gonna go for her first. Alright. Alright, Aveline, you gotta get the fuck up there. And quickly. Okay, I don't want to use any of my area effect spells on the ogre because there's nobody else near him, and that is totally pointless, so. What is my chance to freeze right now? Oh, it's just movement speed. Alright, at this stage, Winter's Grasp does not have any chance of freezing and immobilizing the enemy. I should have checked that earlier. Um, it only decreases movement speed and attack speed, so while the ogre is stunned, there's no point in Bethany doing that. So. I will have her send Spirit Bolt at the Ogre. Again, Spirit Bolt is sort of my I have nothing else to do right now spell. So. And Hawk is gonna backstab this bitch. Okay, he's stunned and he's still going to complete his special attack. Run, Bethany. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. I hate it when that happens. Okay. Well, now she's been thrown out of the way, I guess. And let's send Abilene in. And hopefully that will. And see, this is always what happens. Why is my life so hard? Okay. I'm gonna move Bethany over there. Ah! I forgot to have them all hold again, which is why they are running around of their own accord. This is loads of fun, as you can see. I'm gonna have the ogre stun again, because if he lands a hit on anybody, they're gonna lose a lot of health. Okay, Hawk is down right now, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, sorry, I'm not letting Bethany attack any of these before the others get a hit in, because I don't want their aggro redirected at Bethany. And Mr. Ogreman resisted Aveline's pommel strike, which makes me cry. Hawk is still getting up, but there's nothing I can really do right now except wait for her to do so. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna move Hawk behind the ogre if he lets me move back there. Still waiting, because there are more enemies oncoming. Alright. Since Aveline was unable to stun and I can't do Miasmic Flask, then I'm going to have Bethany slow his attack speed and hopefully that will do something. Hawk, I told you to move. Jesus Christ. Owie. And this is why Bethany is a healer. Another reason I like to run with two mages is, uh huh, is because, as you can see, the uh, the attack animations for all companions or for all classes, sorry, are um, they they look like combo sequences, which means um, there are a bunch of fast attacks at the beginning, and then there's a slower like quote finishing move animation. 
And so Bethany's or any mages is that is when you slam it, slam the staff down on the ground. But that takes time. And because combat is so fast in this game, I need to have two mages to be able to pick up the slack when the other one is doing a finishing move like that. So. Alright, enemies spawn back here as well, but there are not that... I think there actually might already be one, but I don't know. I'm gonna move Bethany back here for now, so that Avalyn can taunt away from her. Okay, we... We really need to finish this ogre, so I'm gonna have everybody focus on that. Okay, everybody's coming af either after Bethany or towards Aveline. Hard to tell. But I'm gonna move Hawk closer to Aveline. I'm going to move Bethany right here. And I'm going to move Aveline towards them. Alright, there are a lot of enemies converging. I don't like being backed into a corner, but I already am. Bad decision on my part, so I'll just keep it as is. I'm still waiting on, um, alright, they're getting past us. I wanted to hold off on threat until later, but it looks like I can't. Okay, Bethany has Mind Blast. Let's see if everybody, I'm gonna have uh, Aveline strike this guy also. Bethany has Mind Blast, so she can redirect threat away from herself, or she can, sh sorry, she can shed she can shed her threat, but there are a lot more coming, and I don't want to waste all of all of my threat directing abilities just yet, in case I need them later. See, Hawk has a pretty good one too. Uh, Armistice is actually another uh, another reason why I like to keep my mages close in combat, because if I center it on Bethany, it's only got a radius of like 10 meters or something, so. Bethany will shed her threat, but that threat needs to be redirected towards another companion who is also in the area of effect, so they all need to be pretty close together. Okay, I'm gonna send Hawk after this one. She can flank him and hopefully keep him off Bethany. Okay, so now I've gathered everybody. Aveline has already taunted. I am going to stun these motherfuckers. And Bethany is not going to do any area of effect attacks until they are stunned. Alright. So now it is slightly more safe for her to do so. And... You see the ones that are stunned, I'm gonna leave them alone, hopefully Bethany can take care of them. This guy is a threat right now, because if he gets hit by the lightning as well, he's gonna turn on her, so... I'm gonna have Aveline stun him as well. And this guy has the most health still, so Hawk is going to backstab. Alright, and I'm going to follow that up with Fireball. But where should it go? Here, I think. Okay, and everyone's going to hate on Bethany now, so that's going to be exciting. This guy is stunned. Alright. Mm. Bethany can finish him. I'm going to send Abilene over here now. Okay. Even though these two have the most health, I'm only going to be doing bug bite damage against them now because I'm out of abilities. So I'm going to focus on the others just so that nobody gets swarmed. Didn't need to apparently. Thank you, Bethany. Alright. Who did I send Hawk after? Okay, I send Hawk after the far one. I'm gonna have Aveline try to finish this guy, or at least keep him occupied. Alright, Aveline doesn't do much damage, so I'm gonna have Bethany help her out. And hopefully Hawk will finish this. There we go, it took long enough. Alright, time to meet Flemeth. 